Good people, I'm Dimitri, welcome to another video. The crazy launch season is almost behind us, but I think it's time to be rolling out with some different content. And just the other day, we woke up to some fascinating news. So get this, ASRock has rolled out BIOS updates for their B450 motherboards to support Zen 3 and the new Ryzen 5000 series processors. I mean, it doesn't sound like anything special since this was announced months ago, but wait. According to AMD and a bunch of other motherboard manufacturers, beta BIOSes were only supposed to start rolling out in January at the earliest. According to our contacts, this was done to control demand and give engineers time to basically optimize the BIOS for the lower end platforms and basically kind of push people, incentivize people towards the slightly newer X570 B550 choices. We're wondering what happened? Did ASRock jump the gun and said YOLO to AMD? We don't really know, but what we do know is that we have some really affordable motherboards on the B450 side that support some really amazing Ryzen 5000 CPUs. And that led to this video in which we'll be talking about how to update to the new BIOS properly, what is different in the BIOSes, and if there's any performance penalties with the Ryzen 5000 series CPU on, on, on Bore 50 motherboards. Well, look what we have here, the new Fractal Design Meshify 2. No crazy surprises here, just a well thought out and functional case with a new swivel front door to easily remove a dust filter behind the school panel. Three case fans are included with a fantastic top fan bracket for easy installation of anything outside the enclosure. USB-C adopters will appreciate the IO and the usual awesome user experience you get with a Fractal Plus, zero frustration with cable management, guaranteed. The Meshify 2, a proper airflow enclosure for your next build, check it out below. All right, so I want to start off by saying that even though finding a Ryzen 5000 series CPU is kind of difficult, the stock for them is supposed to improve. So this is really good news on the ASRock side as well, because it opens up the ecosystem to like more affordable combinations, right? So you can use a B450 motherboard with the Ryzen 5000 series processor. It basically gives customers who are already on the B450 platform a clear upgrade path. As for the biases and support, so weirdly, ASRock is the only motherboard company currently, as of time making this video, to have rolled out uh, support for Zen 3 on B450 motherboards, and I'm sure many other companies will follow right after. But this is so new that ASRock doesn't even have support for Zen 3 on their X470 motherboards, but I'm sure that's just right around the corner. Right now, these are the boards that have the new biases available for download, and they're all available on ASRock's website right now. And also remember, this is an early beta BIOS, so expect more optimizations as time goes on. Anyways, let's talk about the process. For this, we took two ASRock motherboards, the first one being the B450 Gaming ITX AC, which was the worst case scenario because it had the original BIOS on it from 2018. The other one is the B450M Pro 4, which also happens to be one of the most popular B450 boards of all time, according to Amazon's bestseller information. And this one had a slightly newer BIOS uh, update on it already installed from December of 2019. Now, before we continue, some super, super important information is that none of these B450 motherboards will be shipping with the new uh, BIOS to support Ryzen 5000 CPUs. So don't expect to buy one right now off the shelf and pop in a 5000 series CPU. It will not work. And chances are they won't even work with the 3000 series processors because maybe these motherboards have been sitting on shelves for years and, uh, you know, the new BIOS that rolled out in mid-2019 to support the 3000 series processors might not even be installed on the motherboard. So keep that in mind. In our case, we use the Ryzen 2600X to actually update to the latest BIOS, and we don't recommend you do that for the 2000 series processors. So unless you're actually upgrading to Zen 3, don't bother with the BIOS update yet. Anyways, upgrading was super straightforward for the B450M. Unzip the new BIOS file, pop it onto USB drive, enter the BIOS and select the instant flash from the tools menu. It will update and you can then shut down, install the new CPU and re-enter the BIOS to set your preferences. With the B450 ITX AC, everything went by design, no issues here. So a big pat to ASRock on the back for making sure this process is straightforward and really well done. With the updates done, I think it's time to talk about what you're losing on the B450 motherboard series versus the latest B550 or X570. And the biggest one would be PCIe Gen 4 support. And that one, unless you're spending so much money on storage and SSDs, um, is 
most likely not going to be something of a mind for budget conscious consumers. And even though it is kind of a future proofing thing for GPUs down the line, currently there isn't significant advantage even for the highest end of graphics cards to be using and utilizing that Gen 4 bandwidth. Having said that, the B550 boards are generally built to a higher spec in order to handle that Gen 4 signaling. They have upgraded power distribution and in many cases their connectivity options are better too, but not always. In our case, we're using a Ryzen 5 5600X at stock settings and everything was flawless, no issues. Now, the interesting thing is that we're using a Ryzen 3600X beforehand and that one had issues running 3600 megahertz CL16 32 gigabyte memory, whereas after the update with the 5600X CPU and the new BIOS, no problems with memory whatsoever. We're not sure if it was because of the BIOS or the processor or the combination of both, but still worth mentioning. Now, what about performance? And here's our test configuration. And we're using an X570 motherboard, which AMD had used as their like Zen 3 review platform. So it's been optimized exactly for Zen 3. We're also using a Strix B550E with its latest BIOS for less of a handpicked set of benchmarks. So the first test we ran was Cinebench R20. And right away, it looked like there was some Thing going on because the scores were pretty far behind the X570 motherboard. It looks like that's a hot rod toe since the B550E and the B450 boards lined up almost perfectly. Cinebench R15 shows an even less of a gap in multi-score results than the R20 did and the same thing can be said about single core which is good news for gaming. Moving on to some real world results and well there's really not much to say with very little to nothing separating the systems but something does need a bit more research maybe another video and that is because the Aorus Master that we used for launch day review remains consistently ahead and by more than a margin of error. I think we need to look a bit closer at how AMD's handpicked 5000 series review boards line up to the X570s most people are buying. Our Maya test is pretty intensive, one that puts 100% load on all cores for almost 30 minutes. So if there's going to be any issues with PWM throttling or anything else, it will probably show up here. But everything was aligned with the B550 and B450 motherboards battling it out. Moving on to gaming at lower resolution of 1080p, every one of these platforms performs pretty much identically, even though the B450 boards are using the PCIe Gen 3 against the newer interface on those uh, newer motherboards. But like I said before, there's just no reason to worry about Gen 4 right now, even with the highest end GPUs installed. All right, so those are the results with the 5600X, but how about we step things up a bit with the 5900X and see if there's any difference. And to no surprise, the B450 and B550 motherboards offered the same performance through every benchmark, while the X570 still showed significantly high results in some situations. I think this is all about optimizations being prioritized to certain motherboards over others, but one thing is for sure. Right now, all these ASRock updates are not causing any stability or performance issues in the apps that we tested. And for current B450 users, that is fantastic news, especially for those who are who were thinking of buying a 5000 series CPU. You can do that with confidence, given you can find one. Well, I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick piece of content. Really huge props to ASRock for pushing out these biases so quickly. And this is just really good news that will help people on the all, all the platforms uh, to upgrade as Zen 3 becomes more available and as more 400 series motherboards get the BIOS update. I'm Dimitri, thanks so much for watching. Check out this other relevant content. Subscribe for more. I'll talk to you in the next video.